Hello, my most amazing artists. Here is our last weaving for the week. I'm gonna show you guys how to finger weave or finger knit. This is gonna be all done on your hand, and the only thing you're gonna need is yarn, maybe a pair of scissors. So when we start this, we're going to make a loop around. Now, I am right-handed, so I am going to be weaving on my left. These directions are exactly the same. If you are left-handed, you're gonna be putting it onto your right hand. If you're right-handed, you're gonna put it onto your left hand. So you're gonna make a loop around your thumb. You might have to have somebody help you tie it on. And then tie a double knot so it stays on your thumb. You're gonna end up taking this off so you don't wanna tie it super duper tight. This is just here as an anchor to get started. So from here, now this in my right hand is now called my working yarn. It's what I'm gonna be using to weave or knit with. So from here, I'm gonna go behind my first finger, around my middle finger, behind my fourth finger, and over top of my pinky. Then, like with the straw weaving, I'm going to circle around my pinky. So I'm gonna go around my pinky, and then over top of my ring finger, under my middle finger, and over my pointer finger. So when you're done, you'll have it on both sides of your hand. From here, now my working yarn is over here. You're gonna take it and bring it all the way around your hand so it's in a straight line. So I'll do that again. It was over here. You're gonna bring it behind your hand and then over the top. And then this is your setup. That's what you're gonna do every time when you start a new row, I guess we can call it. So you're gonna start at your pinky and you're gonna take this yarn right here at the bottom. I'm gonna bend my pinky and bring it over the top. I'm gonna to take the next one on my ring finger. I'm gonna bend my finger and bring it over the top of my finger. The next one. I'm going to take this, bring it over the top of my middle finger, and lastly, my pointer finger, I'm gonna take it and bring it over the top. Now to get this going, it takes a couple rounds to get it going, and then we'll take this off our thumb. So here's my working yarn again. Bring it around your hand, and you'll do the same process again. I'm gonna do this two more times before I take this off, and I'll show you what you do when you take that off. So you're gonna go Take this one, go over top of your pinky, the next one, over the top of your ring finger, the next one, over the top of your middle finger, and the next one, over the top of your index finger. I'm gonna do it one more time. Take my working thread and go around my hand. So over the top, over the top, over the top, over the top. Now, this looks like a mess. It won't. I'm gonna take this off of my thumb and that end right there is right here. This is my, my loop that I started with. I'm going to gently tug and when I do, you will see that it's going to make, that's my working yarn right there, it's going to make the beginning of my weaving. So I'm gonna now repeat the process, but every time I take it off my finger, I'm going to tug on this. So go around your hand, over one, over two, over three, over four, and tug, okay? And that will make your weaving. So here we go, over your fingers, one, two, three, four, and tug. You can see your weaving is starting to come right here. Let me get a little bit more working yarn going. I didn't cut this, it's still all on the spool because I don't know how long I wanna make it. So I didn't cut a certain, certain length. Okay, so here's my weaving. See how it's starting to take shape? Over my fingers, over one, over two, over three, over four, and tug. Sorry, was that off screen? Over my fingers, over one, over two, over three, over four, and tug. And that's what it's gonna make. 
over my fingers. Sorry, you can see it's starting to try and work its way up on me. So I'm gonna pull it back down because I'm in charge of this yarn. Go over one, over two, over three, over four, and tug. And you just keep doing this until it's as long as you want. Two, three, four, tug. Oops, I got my working yarn in my way. There we go. Go over, over one, over two, over three, over four, and tug. Over one, two, three, four, and tug. Okay, now I'm gonna stop here to show you how to finish this off. Uh, let's see here, my scissors. So you're gonna have somebody cut it for you. I'm gonna cut it. So you have a tail. And to finish it off, it's probably the easiest out of all of them. So this is my working yarn. Sorry, it's off screen. This is my working yarn. This is the one I would have gone around with, but I'm gonna go through under here. I'm gonna go under my middle finger loop. I'm gonna go under my ring finger loop, and I'm gonna go under my pinky loop. When you have done that, then you can slide your fingers out and tug. And if you wanna make, sorry, I was off screen. If you wanna tie it a little bit if you want, if you think you need it, tie a quick knot, but it really should kinda of tighten up on you. And this is the cool design it will make. I hope you guys enjoy it. I miss you.